Welcome back to the channel. In this video here, we got the 4090 with 48 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory. Absolutely insane. So let's get right into this one. So what's better than RTX 49 with 24 gigabytes? Perhaps an unofficial 48 gigabyte model. And here it is. This will be part of the thumbnail. Uh, this is the GeForce RTX 4090 with 48 gigabytes. They custom made this sticker right here. Insane. And it comes with a AIO. So an AIO for it. It's a single slot GPU and 360 mil uh, rad on it. Absolutely insane. Insane that they did this. And this is only in China so far that I've seen. And if you don't know, it's generally just the RTX 4090D that's in China, uh, which is 4090 Dragon. But it's a lower tier 4090. But apparently these are 4090s, not 4090Ds. So pretty cool to see in my opinion. So let's see what they got to say. Yes, this is the first time we've mentioned the uh, RTX 49 with modified memory uh, specs. Such graphics cards have been made for a long time, primarily targeted the emerging AI market where larger memory configurations enable larger AI models to be stored in the GPU memory. The key point is that NVIDIA never launched an RTX 4090 with 48 gigabytes. They never even launched a 5090 with 48 gigabytes either. So, uh, but apparently the, uh, the, the RTX uh, 6000, so the, the 6000 model has 48 gigabytes, but it's also like a $7,000 card. So pretty crazy there. So all the cards now listed for sale are custom made. Memory modifications on GeForce cards have been around as long as GeForce itself, but little did we know that eventually such modifications would be commercialized and evolve into an entirely new market. If you follow GPU news, you might have stumbled upon many reports from users who purchased RTX 4090 cards on the secondhand market. Only to discover that the cards have neither the GPU nor the memory. So not the GPU die or the memory, which is sad, sad that people do this. Such scams involve selling bare boards and coolers to unsuspecting gamers who think they found a great deal. So here we go. We've got uh, GPU Z here opened up. Memory size 49,152 megabytes or 48 gigabytes. And it is GDDR6X memory right here. And the only way that they're actually probably able to do this is that these boards have uh, dual sided PCBs where they're able to put the memory chip on the top and also the bottom. So I'm wondering if the coolers are specially made to cool the top and bottom of the PCB uh, and strictly also the uh, memory chips themselves. Don't know. I don't have one. And apparently they're just in China right now. So. Be awesome to see someone get their hands on it in here in Canada or even the U.S. In most cases, these GPUs are already sold to special companies that have developed entire production lines focused on custom RTX 3090 and 4090 cards. The memory is just as important to salvage as the GPU because some of these cards use dual-sided PCBs borrowed from compatible RTX 3090 Ti. They sold the memory on both sides, enabling larger memory pools up to 48 gigabytes. Again, dual-sided PCBs. So there would have to be certain cards with the dual-sided uh, PCBs. What's new are water-cooled RTX 4090 cards with 48 gigabytes. They are sold in special all-in-one cooling systems with three fan radiators, much like some with very expensive gaming models. And you'll see there's like uh, gaming water for uh, gigabytes gaming water force. Uh, Oris Water Force uh, or Extreme Water Force and a couple of other models like the Asus one. Interesting, like the Asus Matrix. Uh, interesting, the design is single slot, which means it could be successfully used in GPU clusters. Not sure how you could do GPU clusters with a whole bunch of AIOs, though. Interesting, the des uh, design is, oh yeah. Uh, the sellers even add special stickers confirming the memory spec. And that was what I showed you up here memory spec. So this is custom sticker you can't of course it's a custom sticker 48 gigabytes so pretty sweet again here it is on the back side i'm wondering if you could take off the aio and put on custom water loop because that there you could put it in 
actual like an actual piece uh, pc that can actually hold uh, you need a motherboard of course that can actually hold it but you'll uh you'd also be able to put it in an actual pc with a custom water loop which is pretty sweet in my opinion there the water cooling design is new but rtx 4090 48 gig miles are on sale are not in fact we check chinese retail platforms if you have not checked it out either i did put out uh what where you can actually find different kind of GPUs from AMD, Intel to the NVIDIA. This is a quite a long video, but it is a video I put out there to show you the prices and where you can find them in stock in Canada and US for again, NVIDIA, AMD and Intel GPUs. If we check Chinese retail platforms, we will see many offers such as GPUs, the vast majority of them being dual slot blower designs. The average price of these cards is around 24 K are uh, 24,000 RMB, so almost twice as much as the RTX 4090 MSRP in China, 13K. However, since NVIDIA stopped making RTX 4090 cards, even official 24 gigabyte models are very expensive, north of 21K. Wow. So here you go. There you go. There's the prices. Crazy. 5090 for 39,000 RMB. Crazy. And then you also got right here 49 24 gig dash 48 gigabyte turbo card, deep learning, artificial intelligence, strictly uh, marketed towards AI. While the price may seem ridiculously high, one should note that 24K RMB is only around 3,000, only around $3,500 USD only. Why is this important? RTX 6000 ADA, um, ADA, the workstation GPU designed natively with 48 gigabytes of memory. So the 6000, so the RTX 6000 has 48 gigabytes, but it costs about $7,000, like I said before. In other words, for gamers, this seems like a waste of money. No benefit from 24 gig to 48 gigabyte change. Uh, there might be a slight one depending on the games that you're actually using, but for LLM AI acceleration, and similar applications, it's actually a good deal. It is probably just a matter of time before we see these RTX 5090 with 64 gigabyte or even 96 gigabyte of memory at this point. Once models learn how to change memory resistors to trick GPUs into supporting larger memory capacity. And that is something that they might be able to do, but uh, most likely not. They would also have to have a, uh, a, a GPU BIOS to be able to support this as well. If not, they would have to make bigger uh, chip dies, so bigger GDDR6X chip dies, which I don't believe they do. Unfortunately, this means more GPU scams and less supply for gamers. Again, very, very sad to see. Hopefully, NVIDIA will make something to prevent it, but given their limited reaction to past memory mods, I wouldn't count on that, and I agree on that. They, they would not. Again, let's just take a look at this again absolutely insane that they are doing this 48 gigabytes of vram and gddr6x i mean it's pretty good pretty good in my opinion it's what i still use gddr6x in my 3070ti um but that's gonna be it for this video again thank you all for watching again thank you to my viewers subscribers and donators you guys are helping out this channel greatly if you're not part of the discord channel you should definitely take a look at that if you have not checked out the patreon page you should definitely take a look at that as well i do also have via paypal if you'd like to help support the channel and if you want to join this channel there are three different tiers that you can actually choose from um, if not that is okay too it's up to you and uh, that's it. That's it for this video. It's pretty crazy that they're doing 48 gigabytes in the uh, 4090s. Again, China, I'm not sure how they're getting these 4090s when they're supposed to only have 4090Ds. So I don't know. We'll see in the future. I'll try to keep up to date on this. And uh, if you do like this kind of video, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment down below what you think about this as well. Um, I think, again, it's pretty cool that they're doing this. Kind of sucks that AI is taking over the world, though. That's it for this one, and as always, don't forget to get her done.